Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel Ripples on Road. So today we'll be visiting Uthan. So we'll be seeing a lot of things in Uthan. So first we'll be seeing the market and uh, how early morning the markets, uh, every day there will be a market in Uthan. So we'll be seeing how people buy things and what is sold over there. And after that we'll be going uh, to a fort which was built by the Portuguese and later on captured by the Marathas. And uh, then we'll be visiting a church. After that, we'll be passing through Uthan and then we'll be uh, going to the last church and a beautiful place. It's called Velankani Church. So uh, that will be our last stop. I hope you'll enjoy this video. So thank you for watching. Thank you very much. So I started early from my house and uh, I reached here at about 8, 8, 15. And uh, this is what they sell in the market. This is early morning and uh, I came to know that uh, this uh, market uh, it's only in the morning that is from 8 o'clock to till 11 or 12 I think so you know they sell fish uh, they sell vegetables and uh, you can see women here most of them were women because the men they go on for fishing and all that or maybe for some work so most of the people who were buying here and the selling here were uh, women so that was very interesting and uh, uh, you can see a lot of vegetables, fresh vegetables. One thing uh, I wanted to tell you people, Gorai and Uttan area, you get fresh vegetables. So, this is, uh, you can see tomatoes, lot of tomatoes. And uh, even other items also they sell, other things that uh, the women use for makeup and all that. So, as I'm moving around, uh, I could see a fruit seller, uh, a fisher woman and this is a fishing fish market actually what you're seeing is a fish market so it's an open fish market so uh, there are different kinds of fish but not like Chennai where I saw so many fishes so but here also uh, you know you see a lot of fish so these are the garlands they use for religious purposes and so many different colors and flower and the flowers are so beautiful could see some vegetables and here the fellow is selling fruits, grapes, oranges. They all are grown in Mumbai, uh, very close to Mumbai. Yeah? Grapes are grown in Nasik and oranges in Nagpur. So that's all very close to Mumbai. So here you can see fresh fruits and even uh, egg and all the other things. So I was uh, very happy to come here in the morning because if I would have come a little late, I would not have seen this. So if at all uh, you want to see such things, you have to be there early morning. See a lot of grapes, because this is the season for grapes and oranges. And also strawberries, but here I couldn't see any strawberry. So there are other shops also which are open like uh, cloths and utensils and other things. Very, I know. Uh, uh, this guy is selling tomatoes and uh, he's shouting the tomatoes are for 20 rupees. It's so really cheap because in Mumbai, uh, 20 rupees a kg. So Mumbai, it's a little expensive, I think. Sometimes 30, 35, 40 rupees. So this is all about the market. So friends, uh, now the market you have seen. So I decided to explore the other places. And now we are going towards north. So now there is a small hill which we have to climb. And when you go up on the hill, it's a beautiful view of the sea and you can see a lot of fishing boats over there and uh, not only that they are drying the fish you can see on the left they are drying the fish uh, on the bamboo poles which I have shown in uh, some earlier videos and even on the ground this uh, on the left what you see is on the ground they dry fish uh, like uh, uh, no, see you know not only dry prawns and all that so this is the view what you get uh, on the top as you reach the top so beautiful and the weather was so cool and all that and here you can see some fishermen they brought the catch now they are taking it to the market so this is the view what you see from the top so beautiful you can see there they will be loading this onto the onto some vehicles or anything like that so early morning a beautiful ride on my motorcycle
So I started towards the fort and uh, that is called Dharavi fort and I could hear some music going on. So it's so energetic, the atmosphere is so energetic and uh, on the road they sitting and playing because I came to know they were inaugurating a shop over there on the left side. So they were playing some East Indian songs with modern uh, instruments. So these are not Indian instruments, but uh, saxophone, jazz, and trumpet and all that. So there's a marriage also, I could, you can see some decorations, and uh, here I saw no, a beautiful view and when you see such a beautiful view you stop your bike and admire the beauty so I started and as I was saying there's a marriage going on and a cat crossing the road and also you can see a fisherwoman carrying dried fish on her head and a man also and this is a church as I reached very close to my destination, that's the fort. You can uh, see a church and as you cross the church, you take a left turn, which leads to the fort. And also the Uttan Jetty, so where the boats, uh, they dock their boats over there. So this is the road, uh, to the left of the church. And as you proceed, straight ahead, you can see some fishermen and uh, they have brought their catch. They left a beautiful house. And this is downwards, so uh, we're getting down. And, uh, as I was moving, oh, hello, friends. So, two dogs with the plane, and uh, they were small ones. So, I think we are reaching the fort now. So. We have reached uh, the base now of the fort and uh, that's the place uh, where the, as I said uh, the Uttan Jetty is there and in my earlier video I had shown how the boat is uh, launched, the fishing boat is launched into the sea. So we have reached the fort and uh, little ahead we have to go and this road ends and so I have to park the bike over there. So I will be telling more of the fort as uh, we explore the fort. So this is called the Dharavi fort and this was built by the Portuguese. So I parked my motorcycle and I'll be exploring this place. So this place is known as uh, Dongri Dharavi area and uh, this fort is known as the Dongri Dharavi fort and it was built by the Portuguese. Uh, but this fort was built later on because of, uh, the Portuguese reached here in this uh, region in 1534 and they built uh, a fort in Vasai, uh, which is just across this uh, fort. So that was their headquarters, the northern headquarters of Portuguese and uh, the Portuguese ruled here uh, from 1534 till 15, uh, I think 1535, uh, sorry 1735. So, when the Portuguese were here, the Marathas were uh, trying to get this fort and conquer this area because the Maratha ruled the interiors of Maharashtra and uh, Shivaji Maharaj, uh, the King Shivaji Maharaj and his son, uh, that is Sambhaji Maharaj, they could not uh, get the control of this uh, fort. But later on, uh, a king from Peshwa, that is uh, Chimaji Appa. He conquered uh, not only the Vasai fort, also this fort. And uh, later on, uh, again uh, in uh, 19, uh, there was a fierce uh, fight between the Marathas and the Portuguese in, from 19, uh, sorry, from 1737 to 1739. And uh, uh, later on, uh, the Maratha could conquer this fort. And uh, after Marathas, uh, then the British and what you see, these are the new, uh, the, this area where uh, you can see some houses, this were built by the British. So I will be telling you more about uh, the British uh, occupancy.
So what you see here, let me get down and I'll show you. There are some children here uh, enjoying the afternoon. So what you see here, you can see the thickness of the wall. It is uh, about two to three feet. So that's the thickness of the wall and uh, as I get down, uh, this was a small fort just to have a control on the sea uh, so that uh, pe uh, the, the enemy doesn't attack the Vasai fort. So this was just to keep a control and there were cannons here and uh, you can see from here also uh, you can see how the, the cannons were kept on this wall and you can see the thickness of the wall so they could control the whole area that is the Arabian Sea from left to right and uh, earlier you, had, you might have seen how thick the wall and uh, the base of the wall you might have seen how the base of the wall is uh, running through this uh, no, up to the sea level so each uh, there were about uh, I, I could not uh, count it but there were about eight uh, to ten cannons which were placed on this and uh, there were some soldiers here and later on uh, it was occupied by the British and the British uh, held it for uh, till their exit from India in 1947 and uh, after the British left so no one was there to take care of this force and that's the that's the reason why this uh, uh, the condition is so bad but now recently the government uh, that is the municipality of uh, this area and uh, even the churches they decided to take care of the fort and that's why what you see it's a lot much better and very clean so that is from here what you see that's the area where uh, the Vasai fort can be seen and this is the uh, this uh, this area what you see these houses were built by the British and they had kept some offices here I think the customs so the customs uh, office uh, during the rule of the British were here in this uh, rooms so uh, I hope you have sh given you a just a basic idea of why this fort was very important for the Portuguese as well as for the Marathas and then to the British so friends I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of this uh, fort and you can see a banyan tree here in the middle of the fort I don't know this may be how old it is I have no idea but this may be a witness to many historical events that has passed here so I hope you will enjoy this and uh, thank you very much for watching so as I was passing I could see one more marriage here so I think the girl is, you know, the girl's family, they are going to towards the boy's uh, house and it's so beautiful. So friends, uh, we have reached uh, our, the Our Lady of Bethlehem Church in uh, Dongri, Bhutan and uh, this church was built in 1613 and uh, this is uh, no this church was built by the portuguese and this church has witnessed uh, so many uh, events in the, in the history of this church so when the church was built and it was under the portuguese rule there were services going on but when the marathas uh, conquered uh, this area this was the church which was conquered first by the marathas and after uh, conquering this church uh, they kept this as their place where they could uh, you know keep their soldiers and uh, the soldiers used to live here but just opposite to this church on their right uh, there is a place uh, there is a small ground and after that ground you can see a hill and on the hill the Portuguese uh, they had the fort and uh, they occupied that uh, place and this is the witness this houses are the witness uh, because this were built where, during the Portuguese rule here so it has a Portuguese architecture so now as we pass this area now I'll take you in, down so when we pass this area a uh, little ahead so this is place is known as Dongri in uh, Dharavi so you have to get coming down and little ahead uh, I'll, no, I'll take you little ahead 
such a beautiful place here and there's no traffic no one on the road and beautiful old houses and all now so can you see the hill over there so that hill was occupied by the portuguese and there's a ground here and here the fierce battle between the marathas and the portuguese happened just a small uh, historical event which happened here so now we are heading towards our last uh, place that is the wellingtoni church and uh, this road has two hairpin bends one is uh, now you can see this is the first hairpin bend and you can see the sea beautiful uh, sea in front of you that is the arabian sea and as you move ahead you can see the second hairpin bend and uh, it's really very steep but the government has built a beautiful big road uh, it's a broad road so it's very easy to take uh, you know you drive your vehicle or ride your motorcycle and here you can see the fisher woman they are drying the fish for that so we have reached uh, and we have come very close to our lady of wellingtoni church this is on a hill and uh, this place uh, from the, from this uh, place you can see gorai island and uh, during the low tide you can just walk from this beach to the gorai beach uh, but uh, not during the high tide and uh, just i came across here because i wanted to show the beauty of this place and uh, the coconut trees and all that and now i'll park my motorcycle here and i'll show you the beach uh, which is very close by and as i mentioned from this beach you can just walk to gorai island and that's uh, just ahead of you what you can see there and the beautiful sunset now it's about uh, 3:30 pm 3:34 pm so let me take you around and uh, we'll be visiting the church and uh, this church uh, is a modern church which was built uh, up to it's not a very old one but i don't know when it was built but it is very famous because there is a big feast here and uh, people lot of people from different religion caste and creed they come and visit this church and pray so there is a place in tamil nadu and uh, that also there is a church which is also known as wellingtoni church very famous and uh, for the catholics so even this uh, church is very famous for the local fishermen and the women they come here and pray so we are entering and on the top of the hill you can see uh, the statue of uh, jesus and mother mary which will be visiting usually whenever i come here always i decide to go up on the hill but it's so tiring so i never go up but this time i have decided that i should go and visit the uh, top of the hill so that i can get a better view of the surroundings and here is the church now it's so calm and quiet so inside i won't be speaking so i'll be just uh, taking this video sitting the church and as we exit you can see the sea just in front of you so it's in a, such a beautiful location both all the three sides you can see the sea so here also on the left and here this is the front view i can see the fishing boats over there So this was uh, the last uh, destination I thought of ending it with a visit to the church and uh, <coughs> now we can uh, go up and let me take my bike and uh, I have decided today that uh, I should climb the steps there are more than 250 steps I think so hot sunny day I am sweating already I am sweating yeah there are some dogs they are relaxing Uh, let me start my journey up now let me park my bike over here so this is the 
this is where you start the journey up and uh, I have just started and already I feel exhausted so sunny today you can see the statue of mother Mary over there and a big cross so I have reached on the top and uh, this is uh, the cross over here and the statue is little more higher so I'll be climbing up but for here you can see the the sea and the steps which I climbed up and this the beautiful view of the sea Arabian Sea and uh, also you can see some fishing boats uh, I don't know here let me climb up now so a big statue of Mother Mary and infant Jesus beautifully maintained this place is beautifully maintained lot of greenery what a view from here whenever you see the sea you feel so relaxed it calms your mind and body and uh, just ahead of this, let me zoom, there is the Uttan lighthouse and uh, because of Covid and uh, restriction the lighthouse is closed otherwise uh, from there also you get a beautiful view of this uh, place that is Uttan. So these are the fishing boats which are docked here because there is no harbour here so they dock it in the, the sea. So I'm getting down and uh, that's the end of this uh, journey to Uttan. I've shown you many places on my way. I have explored a lot of things for you all. And friends, uh, if you want to come here, it's very easy. You can come through Marve, Malad, as well as you, come, you can come through Bhayandar. And uh, there's a third option also, you can come through Gorai, that is uh, Borivli. So three options are open but uh, Gorai and uh, Malad you cannot come by your car you have to come by Uttan. So this is on the top of the hill where the lighthouse is and you can see the fishing boat and this is the Uttan uh, area. So thank you friends for watching my video thank you very much uh, please do like and share thank you very much.